our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car, ready for the next race weekend. And with all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Bottas, Hamilton and Carlos Sainz. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. Please stand clear, we're ready to go.
We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, Bottas and Sergio Perez. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. You had a lot of fans out there today. Does the pressure get to you when you're back home? It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? Appreciate your time. Welcome along then to Portimao, one of the busiest towns in the Algarve and a breathtaking destination that brings tourists from all around the world to the shores of southern Portugal. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship and with a circuit this wide, we could be in for a lot of exciting wheel-to-wheel -wheel action today. So Portimao features 15 turns over the course of its 2.9 mile length. Nine are right-handers, six are to the left, and this is a track with a lot of uphill action, which only accentuates the importance of getting those exits right, especially at turn four, where a good line can present opportunities to pass on the way into turn five. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. It's Sergio Perez on pole position today, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo, and Bottas. They've taken a grid penalty. Norris, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, and Yuki Tsunoda. Hamilton, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. James, Esteban Ocon and Stroll. Raikkonen, Russell, Sebastian Vettel, they've taken a grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Mazepin and Giuliano Alesi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. OK, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks.
top 10. this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. they've managed to pull off here. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have made up some solid ground today. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Giuliano Alessi gets my vote today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull take over as championship leaders. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time, be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. How are the fans at your home Grand Prix treating you? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Appreciate your time. <laughs>